Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a short um, exploration here of turtles. In our Okefenokee Swamp, we have 15 different types of turtles. One of them is totally terrestrial. Uh, another one is totally aquatic. Uh, the terrestrial turtles are, there are two kinds. Number one is the most, one of the most common turtles we have here. He's called a box turtle, the eastern box turtle. This is, a, this is the turtle way up here normally. This is what he looks like without his scales. Remember, turtles are reptilians. Reptilians usually have scales on their body. This little box turtle rarely goes into water. Only, excuse me, only in the hottest weather do they go to the edge of the water and cool off. But they do not go out into the deep water because they're not swimmers. They are terrestrial critters. They eat things like snails, other large insects that they can, they can catch easily. They also are vegetarians. Some of them are total vegetarians. One of them is the total carnivore. Uh, then the, the uh, gopher tortoise, this is a gopher tortoise. The gopher tortoises live totally on the land. They never go into the water. So if you see one, don't put him in water. He's not a swimmer. Uh, notice he's uh, got a shiny carapace. He has a shiny plastron. And this happens to be a male. Yeah. Uh, this is a male because the male has the concavity here for, that's made for the mating process. This is, a, this is the same gopher tortoise but without some of his scales. They're not all on here. Uh, but when they mate, they mate so that this concavity here matches that little spot right there like so. And that's how they mate. Uh, the thing about turtles is that the, the female turtle doesn't necessarily have to mate every year. She can, she can take the sperm that she receives from one mating and utilize it for the next four years. She can individually fertilize each egg before she lays it. So that's a kind of a unique sort of thing. Uh, gopher tortoises also are burrowers. They, they dig deep burrows. Sometimes it's only six or eight or maybe 10 feet deep. Other times it may be as much as 40 or 50 feet deep. Uh, really not deep, horizontal. They're, the depth of their the depth of their burrow is determined by the water table. They don't want to be in deep water all the time. They want to be in very, very high humidity area. So when they are digging down, they dig until they, until they strike moist sand. And when they strike moist sand, they stop digging because that is enough to maintain a high humidity because he may stay in there for two or three or four months at a time. And these are his shovels. These are the instruments that he uses to dig with. His front feet have very strong, powerful claws and muscles. Uh, this is the shoulder girdle. See how heavy these bones are? They are, of course, are inside the, the turtle. They're found up inside the cavity here, uh, but notice how muscular and how how bone how st strong the bones are. Very large, heavy bones indicates a strong digging ability. This is the pelvic girdle. Uh oh, I dropped a bone. This is the pelvic girdle, and notice it is. Those, these are heavy bones also. And of course, that's what he pushes with. He's a, he has, if he digs a burrow that's 30 feet long, he has to push 
30 feet of dirt back out again. So that creates an apron out front of his burrow. Uh, they may live to be 30, 40, 50 years old. Uh, they're very docile turtles. They're very powerful. The, their, their, their early settler children used to play with them. They would even ride on, ride on their back and they could stand up and, and take a short ride with a gopher tortoise. Uh, gopher tortoises actually operated a large motel. There were 300 other animals, 362 other animals have been found in the gopher tortoise burrow. Some snakes, yeah, diamondbacks, gopher snakes, uh, indigo snakes, uh, many of the rat snakes, uh, other animals, Cer certainly uh, toads. There's, as a matter of fact, there's one toad that only lives in a gopher burrow. He's, and that's, of course, is his name, the gopher tortoise. Gopher tortoise uh, toad. Most turtles are aquatic, and this is one of them. <clears throat> He's called a uh, pond slider. Pond slider. This particular turtle was caught in a fire. Uh, he uh, was not able to escape the fire, and you can see the scar, the burn scars on his plastron. This, all of this, of course, and, and he died in there. And, and the, of course, when the fire passed, the, the predators and the scavengers emptied out his, his shell, and I found it. Uh, but notice also, there's a burn injury here, but there's a large bite injury here. He it was probably a small gator that just bit off the end of his shell and his leg. Uh, but notice what's happening. They're healing. This bone is growing back. That bone is healed up completely and it's in the process of regenerating. Uh, <clears throat> okay. This is called a, a red-eared turtle. A red-eared turtle because of the, the large red spot on his head, of course. <clears throat> the red-eared turtle is unique because this turtle builds her nest in the side of a gator's nest. <laughs> what better protection she could ask for? Uh, so she's a unique kind of turtle. Here she's also a pond slider, just like that one. And three miles of that ocean out there is ours also. And so one of the most common turtles that comes ashore on the Georgia shore is the loggerhead turtle, the loggerhead. This is a rubber model of a loggerhead turtle. Notice their legs have become modified into paddles rather than for walking. They are very powerful swimmers. They swim about 3,000 miles uh, on a trip out into the ocean, 1,500 miles out to the Sargasso Sea, where they reproduce and come back, uh, they, they mate out there, and they come back to shore and they crawl up on the beach to the highest high water mark. And that's where she digs a hole with these back legs. She'll dig a hole and drop in her eggs, 15, 20, 30 eggs in a nest. And she may crawl back to the sea that day or that night. And then the next day she'll crawl back up again and do it again. She may lay three or four nests uh, in her nesting period. So she may come back and lay 20 or 30 eggs for in a series of three or four nights. <clears throat> Very powerful swimmers. 